Hey everyone, I'm Marsha. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to share with you how to make an easy white chicken chili in your Instant Pot. Now, I absolutely love the Instant Pot, but if you don't have one yet, then you can certainly still make this recipe on top of your stove. So I'll be sure to share a few stove top tips on how to make this chili recipe on top of your stove in the video. So without further ado, let's jump into the recipe. All right, so here's a quick snapshot of what you're gonna need for this recipe. I have two boneless, skinless chicken breasts, but you can also use boneless chicken thighs if you would like. I have some white Great Northern beans, some frozen corn, some fresh cilantro, some chili spices, some garlic, lime, green chilies, cream cheese, green bell pepper, an onion, and some chicken broth. All right, moving on to the Instant Pot. So I've already chopped up my onion and bell pepper, and I had a huge onion, so I only chopped up half of it. And I'm gonna go ahead and saute that in my Instant Pot with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. There's actually a saute function on the Instant Pot, so you can do everything in your Instant Pot for this recipe. Once my onions and bell pepper have sauteed for about a minute or two, I'm going to go ahead and add in my minced garlic, and I'm gonna let that saute for about 30 seconds. I don't want the garlic to burn, but I also want it to get nice and fragrant as well. Once that is done, I'm gonna cut the saute function or button off, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add in the rest of my ingredients, starting with my spices. So I have some chili powder, some cumin, some dried oregano, some salt and some pepper and all the measurements are listed down below. I'm gonna go ahead and dump that in the Instant Pot and stir that around before I add in anything else. All right, now this is where it really gets easy. I'm gonna go ahead and dump in the rest of my ingredients. I'm gonna start off with my beans and I've already drained and rinsed these beans really well. Then I'm gonna add in my frozen corn. Next, I'm gonna add in my green chilies. And you can find these green chilies in the international food aisle or the Mexican food aisle of your grocery store. They usually come in a four ounce container, so I'm just gonna add one of those to the Instant Pot. Then I'm gonna add in my chicken broth. And I'm gonna go ahead and give all of this a stir just gently. I don't wanna stir it too much, but just a little bit before I add in my chicken. Next is my chicken breast. I did season my chicken breast with just a little bit of salt and pepper. And I'm just going to lay both breasts on top of everything else. So I'm not gonna stir it or mix it in. It's just gonna lay on top of everything else. And trust me, it's going to cook perfectly. All right, now that my chicken is in, the last thing I need to do is add in my cream cheese. So regular cream cheese usually comes in an eight ounce block. I'm just gonna use half of that. So I have four ounces of cream cheese and I want to break that cheese up into just small chunks. I don't wanna just put one big chunk in there because I wanna make sure it melts. So I'm breaking up my cream cheese into small chunks and I'm just gonna place it around my chili. All right, now it's time to let the Instant Pot do its magic. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the lid and I have a Instant Pot Duo Nova. So as soon as I close my lid, the pressure release valve automatically closes to sealing as well. Then it's just time to pressure cook and let the Instant Pot cook your chili. So I am going to pressure cook this on 20 minutes. After the 20 minutes is done, I'm going to allow the Instant Pot to naturally release some of its pressure for 10 minutes. After it's naturally released for 10 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and push the quick release button to release any extra pressure that may still be in my Instant Pot. Next, you wanna take your top off and you want to go ahead and grab those chicken breasts with some tongs. Be very careful. Take your chicken breasts out of the Instant Pot and place it on a cutting board and we're going to shred it with two forks. So as you can see, the Instant Pot has cooked the chicken breasts perfectly, so it should be very easy to shred apart with your fork. So if you are making a stove top version of this white chicken chili, the only thing you really have to decide is how do you wanna cook your chicken? So there's two different ways I would suggest. You can either cook it on top of the stove in a skillet with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, or you can cook your chicken breast by boiling it first before you make the rest of your chili, which is probably what I would do, just because I've mastered boiling chicken breast and I know it will be super tender and perfect for this chili. So I already have a video on my channel on how to boil the perfect chicken breast 
to use in recipes just like this one. So feel free to check out that video next. Once your chicken is shredded to your liking, go ahead and dump it back in that Instant Pot and stir it around with the rest of your chili. While you're stirring, be sure to make sure all that cream cheese is melted as well. It usually is, but for whatever reason, if it's not, go ahead and keep stirring just to make sure all that cream cheese has melted in your chili. And then the last step is just to add in some extra flavor. So I have a half of a fresh squeezed lime juice that I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. And then I have some fresh chopped cilantro. This tastes so good in this chili. So please don't skip this step if you can. Get you some fresh cilantro at the grocery store. Chop it up finely and then throw that into your chili as well and stir that around. All right, and then your chili is done. You can go ahead and add it to your serving bowls and top it with whatever toppings you want, whatever your favorite toppings are for chili. You can really add whatever toppings you like to this white chicken chili. It tastes so good, you guys. So I hope you'll give it a try. Come back, let me know how you liked it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please leave me a big thumbs up down below and feel free to share it with your family and friends. As always, the full measurements and printable instructions for this recipe is listed down below in the description box. And if you would like to see more simple and easy recipes just like this one on my channel, then make sure you hit that subscribe button down below along with the bell so you never miss when I upload a video. And until next time, friends, I'll see you later.